buddy Paul Lacito, and I'm Andrew Berman. We're doing uh, Jay Duran's 30 Days of Thought. Uh, today we are doing Accepting Different Socks. Uh, so uh, before you kick it off, Paul, I'm going to read you uh, the abstract of the abstract. Um, our uses are abundant no matter how we appear, and considering our generic comparison, we each have brilliance within us, accepting different socks. Mr. Lucido, take it away. Yes, sir. And I think it's genetic comparison. I, did I say something else? I think, okay. you said, I think you said generic, but it's close. Okay, enough. sorry, so, genetic. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, so look, um, this is a really fun one, actually, and I think it's a uh, it's something that everybody should practice. You know, there's a there there are old sayings out there: different strokes for different fo folks. We're all different people, um, with their own beliefs and ideologies and perceptions. And um, what Jay is kind of you know keen on here is to each his own or her own, right, or their own. And um, he speaks to the subjectivity we cannot control, but we can recognize our individuality, the flame of the flame we all share, yet differ. So we all have a flame in us. There's some slight nuances, there's some slight differences. And I think a lot of what he's really trying to help us understand is, you know, we get caught in the self-righteousness and the dogma, you know, our own dogma, for lack of a better way to describe it. And um, the idea is, is just to be a little more open and a little more accepting of different, different people, their, um, their different personalities, the dynamics that come into play of that. And I think a lot of that, I know for me over the years, is just through, again, it's just through experience. I mean, you know, the more people you meet in your life, the more you broaden your sense of awareness of others. And, um, you know, right down to even micro expressions and different things, you know, we all we all do things slightly different. But if you, you meet enough people in your life, if you watch enough videos and you listen to people present in their own style, their own way and their own personality, you start to have a better understanding. Um, you know, in many instances, Andrew, you know, you people can have a preconceived notion that's of other people. I think speaking to that point. Having you, whoops, you, and having myself do this together in a dynamic way, we're both kind of conveying the same message in a slightly different way, in a slightly different personality, but we're showing how they both can parallel one another. So it kind of shows how two completely different people um, could, could share in the same ideology and, um, and then convey that in, in our own style, in our own way. Now, it goes deeper, but why don't we just kind of play off that if that's a good lead yeah. off? Well, Basically, we have different strokes for different folks, you know, um, to each their own. Let's let's start with that. Yeah, so, so so listen, up. I'm going to read what, what what I wrote, but what you just said right there just had me going in a completely different direction that is so appropriate for the mortgage business right now. But I'm going to read this first because then I'm going to go. Whoosh, wow. Okay. Uh, cool. So. Uh, we're all so different, and just because things are diff uh, are done um, um, by others drastically different than what we consider dogma, doesn't make it wrong. Um, maybe we're wrong. Uh, maybe uh, actually no one is wrong because we all do different things. Reasoning with that's why we were we were raised that way to believe that certain dogma was the appropriate way. Um, we believe that we all should wear the same socks, and our kids want to wear mismatched socks. Um, what kids at their age uh, is whatever whatever they're seeking but however like more appropriate to right now what we're facing right now in the mortgage business i mean like we're facing um like a uh a, a some wear different socks some are some are mortgage brokers some are mortgage bankers and it doesn't mean you know because someone is a broker they're wrong someone is a banker they're wrong we're wearing different socks this is actually what what we have been raised to believe this is actually maybe our community um calls for that business model whatever it is um it's all actually it's, it's about the things that we've that have led us to put on those socks and to wear that shirt and to have that title as a mortgage broker or a mortgage banker or whatever it is um this is 
you know, accepting different socks and accepting each other, accepting that you and I are not the same. You know, we might have a lot of the same beliefs, but there we can't be 100 percent the same. And for us, actually, you know, to uh, to force, you know, you to, to believe everything that I believe um, is going to create wars. Uh, and that's accepting different socks. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. So I, I, I hear, I hear you and I, and I agree with a lot of what you're saying. I mean, you know, I go back to the same thing, you know, a lot of what we do is more of a conciliatory discussion versus like a debate where I'm trying to win something and you're trying to win something, or we're trying to win each other over here. I think you said it best. I think you've said it. In I can't try to win anything with you. <laughs> I'll lose it? every time, I'm sure. <laughs> you're, funny. you're a funny guy. Um, we just have different styles, right? But but but, yeah. but going back to the point, you know, if you read the whole entire book, uh, I go back to the same thing. Many, many of the topics, uh, these analogies that Jay has um, are abstracts. I like what you call it. Sometimes they're more of an abstract, actually, than they are an analogy. Um, does speak to culture and it does speak to the idea of being accepting of other others culture and ideologies and having an understanding you know my i have i have two kids my kids are not really kids anymore they'll always be my kids but i have a 33 year old and a 24 year old right uh, my daughter being the younger of the two and they're the, they're the new and improved they're the better version of both my wife and i um, and they're very accepting. They're very unbiased in many ways. They're not prejudiced in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I came up from a time, a day, and age when there was still a lot of prejudices. I, I can honestly remember that growing up as a kid and how I got past that, not through my own parents. My parents were very, very open-minded. My dad always said, you know, just keep... Keep, keep in mind that the world always changes and what we think we know today is going to be something else possibly tomorrow. So I kind of pass that on to my kids to say, just keep an open, an open palate, an open mind and know that everything is always evolving. So don't get your wheels too, too sure footed. Just know that, you know, there might be some course correction along the way, I guess is a way to say it. So yeah. I feel like what Jay is saying is, you know, just kind of open up your heart a little bit, put, leave your baggage at the door. And I know you always hear me say that, but it's kind of true. Leave that there and uh, kind of open up your mind and be an active listener, a good listener, an intentive listener, uh, attentive listener, not intent, I guess say intent, but attentive um, and uh, understand where people are coming from. And in a way, what's great about that is it'll, it helps you grow. It broadens you. It helps you have a better understanding of people. It helps you have a better understanding of where they're coming from. I mean, just consider the political uh, climate we're in right now. You know, people just don't want to, you know, try to meet in the middle somewhere to have at least some general understanding of where the other is coming from you know, ver versus just casting stones at each other, you know, and then the old saying, he without sin cast the first stone. Nobody's without sin. Anyway, I, I got off on a tangent, but I think you understand my point. So, um, but uh, yeah, so what, let's hear let's hear some more from you, Andrew. Makes at all. I mean, uh, uh, like your your uh, um, what was your what was your father saying again? Well, my dad basically said to always keep in mind that don't get too hung up or too sure-footed on on certain ideologies. Essentially, is what he's saying. Things are always going to change. Keep an open mind. And I pass that on to my kids. And I've actually seen my kids really are very well cultured. I'm just using my kids for a second and very open to all cultures. And yeah. they understand. And they're the better version of my wife and I is what I was trying to get across. Uh, my niece and nephew are the same way. I can speak for them. They're very broad, well broadened, um, uh, expansive thinking people. And um, we need to be that way. That doesn't mean, let me be really clear, that doesn't mean you don't give up on your beliefs and your values. That's not what this is. It's not about compromising your values. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying that you just need to be better about understanding where the other person's coming from before you're so quick to throw a dagger or yeah. quick to be dismissive because it just it's like oil and water. There are some things that are oil and water. There are some things that are going to be very clear and go, you know what? That's just not my cup of tea. But if you want to have good, intelligent conversation, if you want to be able to really, you know, uh, have discourse, then you need to, you know, just kind of sit back and understand where the other person is coming from. And I believe Jay's book throughout almost everything that we've read so far really talks about that uh, piece where you really listen 
with, with the intention of really trying to understand the other person. So, so, so and, and Jay happens to be right now preparing a, a series of, of articles that is going to be dropped in the magazine, um, uh, you know, and, it, and it's talking this, talking about accepting differences um, and, and agreeing to disagree, uh, you know, and not creating, uh, you know, wars over differences and being able to accept different socks. It's so perfect. This is like, this is the perfect passage. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable. I've, I've listened to, he gave me a recording. I've listened to it about five times. And every time I listen to it, I get chills. It's, it's just, it's, um, I will share it with you very soon. You'll, I'll share it with everyone. You'll, everyone will see this and mm -hmm. listen to it and read it. Uh, but I think that's, I think that's, you know, I've got nothing. I mean, we've just, you've said it wonderfully. Uh, you know, uh, we've even actually, your father even said it wonderfully. Uh, so I think, I think we're good. I, I don't know um, if you have uh, something in mind for, for next passage. Oh, I, I I don't. I have the book here. If you want to do, I, I yeah, kind of let's go for a random one. one. I, I, the random ones are always so difficult. Pick something really, really difficult on here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do it like this. Pick a page number. Okay. Like we did last time, and I'll look for it. And let's see that. Look, go for it. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Lucky okay. number fifty-five. So fifty-five, seven yeah. days a week. That falls under the category of seven days a week. And what it will be speaking to when our head stays down on our given task, our purpose had be handed down and bestowed upon us by destiny seven days a week. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do it on. Again, we're studying, we're distilling is the word, this uh, great book by Jay Duran, 30 Days of Thought. Um, Andrew and I have just been taking this in just small, small dosages, dosages. And we are, um, we're just trying to give our take uh, like Andrew always, Andrew always says, there's no right or wrong, uh, wrong way of uh, explaining it. You you just explain it in your words and in layperson's terms too. We want to keep this at a level where everybody can understand. It's so, uh, which is tricky because Jay is a really highly philosophical guy. Yeah. I mean, he's out there a little bit, um, but um, we're we're doing a pretty good job of staying staying up. Yeah. All right. So uh, maybe we'll try it again tomorrow. All right. Let's do it. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. And oh, by the way, um, if we don't do that, I just wanted to wish everybody that's listening a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving. It's, this is the, uh, the week to give thanks. So hopefully uh, we can all do that. I want to give thanks to you, Andrew, for doing this with me, sharing in these exercises. It's, it's made a better person out of me, literally. So I really enjoy it. Me too. Listen, I, I, I kind of threw this challenge out there one, one day, and and uh, man, you, you said let's do this. I was like, okay, I wasn't wasn't really actually sure about it, but uh, yeah, like I appreciate you know you giving me the confidence because this is this is awkward for me. This is still awkward being out here uh, and sharing my, my my raw thoughts without actually having a script, without knowing what I'm supposed to say. Uh, but well, thank you so much, and thank you everyone uh, who's, who's watching this. All right. And I'm going to end this now. 